Rainbow trout are the species Oncorhychus mycus or Omycus for short. It can take on two different life forms. One is that it may remain in the river as a resident fish where it lives its entire life. The other form is a steelhead which migrates to the ocean and then returns to the stream to spawn. You can't physically tell the difference between a rainbow trout and a steelhead. And a rainbow trout at any time during its life can decide that it's going to go to the ocean, at which point it becomes a steelhead. And this goes into the complexity of trying to manage for this species. My name is Andrea Fuller. I'm a fish biologist who's been working on the Stanislaus River since 1995. My name's Steve Canal. I work here in Oakdale. I work for the Oakdale Irrigation District. My name is Jason Gennard and I'm a fisheries biologist with FishBio. The Stanislaus River is a tributary to the San Joaquin River, one of three tributaries. The Stanislaus River extends all the way really close to Nevada, so it's a really long running river into the Sierras. The Stanislaus trout population is probably one of the most vibrant, if not the most vibrant, trout population in the Central Valley. So it's very prideful that we have this great fisheries within our community that we can all take value from. The ocean environment is a very nutrient-rich environment. So a fish that enters the ocean uh, can grow fast and can potentially survive at a better rate than smaller counterparts that remain in stream. Making that swim to the ocean here from the Stanislaus River is over 100 miles, and there's obviously a lot of risk in making that journey. The main challenge for a steelhead smolt migrating downstream is predation. Non-native predators such as striped bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. It's not a favorable environment for a fish that is trying to migrate to sea. Fish Bio monitors rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River for the Oakdale Irrigation District, South San Joaquin Irrigation District, collectively known as Tridam. We know that few rainbow trout migrate downstream to become steelhead because the districts have been funding out-migration monitoring near the town of Oakdale since 1993. We use a rotary screw trap to capture downstream migrating fish and from that we're able to estimate the number of rainbow trout that are attempting to migrate to sea. The districts also began monitoring the number of steelhead returning to the Stanislaus River in 2003. The number of steelheads based on the size of the fish alone is only a handful of fish each year at most. In 2009, the National Marine Fisheries Service issued a document called the Biological Opinion for threatened fish in California's Central Valley. The biological opinion called for restoration actions. It also calls for how the dams are operated. With any fish species, one of the first steps in managing for that species is to know how many you have and where they live. And at that time, no one had conducted any surveys to estimate how many rainbow trout we had in the system. You can't manage what you don't know. If you have a population that is unknown, how do you make the right decisions to improve that population? So in 2009, we began doing snorkel surveys in the summer to come up with an estimate of how many rainbow trout lived in the Stanislaus River. When we conduct the snorkel surveys, we swim through individual habitat units. We do this with a group of four to six individuals swimming in the river and actually counting how many fish we see. These surveys are conducted in multiple reaches throughout the river. We start up at the dam in Goodwin Canyon and we survey almost 20 miles of river all the way downstream to Oakdale. And they map that uh, on a system that has value when you start wanting to make decisions on how you want to change the river or improve the river. You surely want to focus your time and effort and money into improving those areas that have little habitat and little value and convert them into places that have value and also understand those areas that are high value and maintain that habitat in there so that you don't degrade that habitat by your actions and management of the river. One of the river sections in the Stanislaus River with the highest abundance is Goodwin Canyon. Goodwin Canyon is the four miles of river below Goodwin Dam. This section has very high quality 
trout rearing habitat. The river's much faster moving. There's large boulders, there's a lot of waterfalls and just complexity in that, in that portion of the river. The irrigation districts monitor rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River to understand how water management decisions in the river affect the abundance of, of trout. Uh, we're looking to monitor the health of the population. The rainbow trout population in the Stanislaus River is generally very healthy. From 2009 through 2014, we estimated approximately 20,000 rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River. However, the estimate in this past summer in 2015 was only 5,000 rainbow trout. This represents a 75% a decline from the previous estimates. The 2009 biological opinion prescribed flows that were intended to maintain or increase the numbers of rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River. Unfortunately, during this drought period, although we've had increased flows, this water is warmer. So we're actually seeing negative effects on the population of rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River. Water in the Stanislaus River is supplied by New Maloney's Reservoir. New Maloney's is a very large reservoir and the value of that is that when the reservoir is full, there's a large volume of cold water at the bottom of the lake. For managing reservoir storage to produce uh, a temperature regime downstream that is beneficial for fisheries, you have to manage the outlet or the water leaving the dam. The problem is in a prolonged drought is when you have a reservoir which has this gradient of temperature and all the warm water at top and all the cold water at the bottom, eventually as you release water out of the bottom of the dam, that warmer water eventually moves down and pretty soon you've depleted all the cold water and all you have is warm water left. The high water temperatures are the combined result of low reservoir storage due to both the drought and the demands of the biological opinion. Rainbow trout are evolved to live in a cooler water environment. They're generally a, a cold water fish. Water temperature can, in essence, cook fish eggs. Uh, the, the eggs do not develop properly um, and it, the eggs don't hatch. So you end up with an egg that does not develop into a young trout. Because water temperature affects fish eggs, it takes a full year before we see this as a population effect. This means that the low counts in 2015 were attributed to warm water temperatures in 2014. This is alarming because in 2015, we saw temperatures that were much warmer than any of the previous years. So it's likely that we will continue to see a decrease in the population in this coming year and during the 2016 snorkel surveys. The future of rainbow trout in the Stanislaus River is dependent on our future management. Key to future management is preservation of adequate cold water pool in New Maloney's Reservoir to maintain adequate water temperatures. And so the challenge is making the right decisions so that you maximize the water that you have to meet the needs that you have because when you send that river down, it's not there in the reservoir to meet the cold water needs of fisheries. It's very important for both Oakdale Irrigation District and South San Joaquin Irrigation District to work with our federal partners on this river to keep as much water as possible in New Maloney's Reservoir. One way to make more steelhead would be to make more rainbow trout. If you have a larger population and some fraction of that population is becoming a steelhead by having a larger population of rainbow trout, you will increase the numbers of steelhead or fish attempting to migrate to sea. People come here to fish this river because of the high trout populations. They buy gas, they buy groceries, they buy picnic supplies, and you know, and they go out and enjoy the river. And so, um, having a great fish population has been a very has been a great benefit to our community economically for those reasons. Rainbow trout are an iconic species, uh, something that uh, many of us grew up angling for. And those recreational opportunities are, are very important to our uh, local communities in terms of uh, creating jobs and just quality of life. You know, it's our stewardship responsibility because of our diversion structures within the river to exercise due diligence in keeping this population 
safe, vibrant, and into the future so that we can all benefit, both the community, ourselves, and those coming from outside the area who come here to enjoy the river.